OTP is a shortcut used for user security authentication in an application. Due to many drawbacks in terms of data security should OTPs be sent via SMS, businesses should consider switch to using the WhatsApp Business API to send OTP codes. Follow this tutorial to send OTPs on WhatsApp via Kiska's Omnichannel Chat. Before starting the process, there are some things that you should prepare. Firstly, ensure that your WhatsApp account is integrated into the Kiska's Omnichannel Chat. Secondly, check that you have message templates to send OTPs with. In this tutorial, we will use Postman to test the API. Let's begin. The first step is authentication. You must get admin token authentication before beginning to send OTPs using WhatsApp Business API. Open Postman and use this API. In the body section, enter your admin email and password. Once you hit send, you will receive the account information. Your admin token is the same as long underscore lift underscore token. Step 2. Select a template. Go to the outbound message menu on the Kiska's Omnichannel chat dashboard. Click on the WhatsApp broadcast templates menu. You can create a new message template or use an existing one. In this tutorial, we will use an existing template named OTP underscore one. Then, click View. You will then see information pertaining to channel underscore ID, template underscore name, namespace and more, which will be used in the next step. Open Postman and use this API. In the header section, enter your admin token previously obtained from the authentication step. Move to the body section and enter the information related to channel underscore ID, template underscore name, namespace, and language from the WhatsApp broadcast templates menu. You will need to fill in the variables. In this case, this will be the OTP codes you want to send out. The field phone underscore number refers to the phone number you want to send the OTP to. For button underscore params, you only need to fill it in if your template requires buttons. Then, click Send. You will then receive a response that the OTP message has been sent. This is how the message on the customer's WhatsApp account will look like. And this is how the message will appear on the Kiska's Omnichannel chat dashboard. The next step is to check if the message has been sent to the customer. You can check this in two ways. First, you can check via the Kiska's Omnichannel chat dashboard. Go to the Outbound Message menu on the Kiska's Omnichannel chat dashboard. Then, click Send WhatsApp Broadcast Messages. Click See Log to receive full information about the messages you have sent. There are four types of message delivery status. Send, where the message has been sent out. Delivered, where the message has been sent but has not been read by the customer. Read, where the customer has opened and read the message and failed where your message has failed to deliver. Second, you can actually use webhook. To do this, you have to set up API for the webhook URL. To set the webhook, you can use this API. In the header section, enter your app underscore ID and secret underscore key. You can get the app underscore ID and secret underscore key from Kiska's Omnichannel chat dashboard in the settings menu and then click app information. In the body section, enter the webhook URL.
What happens if the OTP message has not been sent? There are several reasons why your OTP message has not been successfully delivered to your customers. One reason is that your customer's phone number is wrong or has not been registered on WhatsApp. If the OTP message is not delivered, you can do several things. You can try to send the OTP message again or use another method to send the OTP. For example, you can use other channels such as SMS, email, and many other platforms which are integrated into the Kiska's omnichannel chat. OTPs are confidential and protect the personal data of your customers. Hence, to maintain confidentiality, you can hide the OTP variable on the Kiska's omnichannel chat dashboard. To do this, you can use the same API to send WhatsApp OTP via Kiska's. However, you must add height underscore variables in the body with the status true. Customers will still be able to see the OTP code. However, the OTP code will be hidden in the Kiska's Omnichannel chat dashboard. Now that the WhatsApp Business API is ready to send OTPs to customers, make sure to test that the message can be delivered successfully first. Let us know if you have any questions. We are always ready to help.